Yo, what's up guys? Jay Cool back with another video. This video today is going to be a really, really important one. Uh, we're going to be covering some of the new community efforts, which have been uh, sort of a group effort between some of the key players in this Federa Hashgraph ecosystem. Uh, Tyler over at and Hashpack over at Hgraph, uh, people over at Blade Labs. Um, they've sort of all come together and, and many more, don't be wrong, that, that's not everyone. And many more people have come all together to implement a global wallet connecting standard, um, sort of extending the current functionality which Wallet Connect uh, provide and using it so that we can have one as developers, as DAP developers like myself, like you probably if you're watching this, so that we can have a really, really easy way to connect our DAPs with apps, uh, with, with wallets, without having to download five different SDK is specific for a unique wallet. So um, I'm going to be showing a video today on how you can use this Wallet Connect functionality uh, with the Hash Connect library. So Hash Connect is acting as a wrapper over Wallet Connect. And we're going to do some demonstrations of pairing, obviously, with your Hashpack wallet, but actually how you can pair with your Blade wallet as well using the Wallet Connect standard. So uh, let's, ki let's kick things off. <clears throat> Um, as you can see over here, I've got this very, very simple React app. And essentially, it's like a little big Hello World equivalent of pairing. So um, we'll do a little run for us to, as to what functionality we're going to get out of this tutorial. Hit refresh, up pops your Hashpack application. Um, and immediately, as you can see, we have uh, connect with Hashgraph Hub Test. I'm going to pair with my testnet wallet. And then we have, boom, up pops. We've got a paired account ID. This is filling out uh, some of the pairing data. Uh, and if we hit disconnect, it clears. Uh, and what we can do again is we can hit open pairing mode. And I'm not going to open it with my, um, with my hash pack. So let's just close that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into my Blade wallet. And I'm going to pair it over here, connect apps. Uh, and we're going to want to go uh, wallet connect got our string paste that in here hit connect now we'll pop up saying uh, which wallet do you want to pair with it should do at least let's give that another try copy link Right, let's close that and try again. Here we go. And so if we hit uh, open pairing modal, at this time, I'm not going to connect with my Hashpack wallet, so I'm going to close that. We're going to connect with our Blade wallet. Come over here, Wallet Connect, copy that URL, paste it in here, hit Connect. Now it's asking me to connect my Testnet account. I'm going to prove that over there, and likewise, we get our metadata, our paired account, um, sort of our connection status. So yeah, let's actually look into the code now. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a very, very straightforward uh, React application. Just use MPX React, uh, MPX Create React app. Um, and the two packages which you need to install is you need to run npm install hash connect and npm install hashgraph SDK. So these are the libraries that you're going to be needing. Um, and essentially, it's a single page application. Um, and I would suggest if you're building a React app or something like Next.js, Next .js, a, a framework on top of the React library. I would suggest uh, putting all of this functionality into app context. Uh, at the moment, just for this demo, I'm not doing app context um, just because it's everything's in one page. But obviously, when you have different components which need to use pair wallet functionalities, buy now functionalities, sign execution, uh, sign and execute transactions, etc., you're going to be able to have, you're going to want to have this uh, wallet functionality uh, on a global state. So having it in context is very useful. But um, essentially what we've done over here <clears throat> is we followed, uh, taken parts and converted it slightly from the documentation so that it fits in this JavaScript React uh, syntax. First thing that we're doing is we're initializing this hash connect 
uh, instance. So we now have, have this uh, instantiation of the hash connect object, passing in this testnet property, the uh, wallet connect project ID. This is something which you can go online. I'll put the link in uh, the bio, um, but you can go online to wallet connect and you can create an account. Don't even need your email address. You actually will just be able to use your uh, MetaMask wallet or whatever. Uh, some app metadata over here which sort of just gives a bit of description and context to the application. And then finally, this final property is a sort of a debug flag. So if you have true, you'll get extra information in the logs. So then we're registering these events. So this is the pairing event. Uh, this is essentially the event which is triggered whenever a uh, whenever the pairing data changes. So for example, if um, if, if you've paired a new wallet or you've, you've uh, you, um, yeah, when you pair a new wallet. This connection event, this is a new event, which has just been added really, really useful. Essentially what this does is whenever there's a disconnection, uh, this emits an event and this allows the application to know when a wallet has disconnected. So you can do things like clearing the state because uh, obviously your application, you don't, want, um, you don't want your app to think that the user's paired after they've disconnected. And as you can see, what we're doing is we're using a use state over here, which you can also use in context. If you'd like to see sort of a more a more like a production ready implementation just give a like on this video and drop it in the comments but um we're setting sort of state so that the application knows particular uh particular parts and components of this pairing process so the pairing data the connection status and obviously this hash connect object so we can use the functions of the same instantiation uh later on uh, the final one is this connection status change so this is essentially an enum value it can be disconnected it could also be connecting, connected, and paired. Uh, but by default, we'll just start it off as disconnected. Um, and essentially, this is all being initialized in this use effect hook. So we, we, we're calling the init function. Now, some new functionality with this uh, init method is that it causes the hash pack modal to pop up immediately. Uh, similarly, how you find it with MetaMask. So we're, we're saying, okay, yeah, let's call this hash connect init method. And then we're setting the hash connect state to be this hash connect uh, object, which we've been um, adding with the relevant properties for our application, like the relevant uh, status uh, events. Uh, we've also got this function called disconnect. So this is using again, our global uh, hash connect state variable. And whenever we call this disconnect method, it will actually cause this disconnection event to trigger and immediately it will clear the pairing data so typically what you would have to do is in this particular disconnect function is you then also have to write your logic which goes set pairing data null but um because we essentially have one central location where that's called we no longer have to do it and actually this is not the only way this function here is not the only way where you can disconnect your hash pack app or your blade app you can also do it within the application uh, so we're just sort of calling these application uh, calling these methods we've got this on clicks open pair modal um, which equally we could have, um, that doesn't need to go there. So that's, oopsie, ah, whatever, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep it as is. Um, that doesn't need to be invoked like that. That can be done like that. And yeah, let's just quickly write a, yeah, const, um, connect. Let's just say open pairing modal is what we want. Okay, so if we head over back to the application, let's disconnect from our blade wallet, which we can do uh, in the application, like I just mentioned, we can go over to connected dApps. And as you can see, we have this active pairing, hit X, disconnect, and that causes this whole thing to, uh, to, to clear. It causes the trigger event, the uh, disconnection event to be triggered. And we can now pair again. So we'll hit pair modal, uh, fail to, Let's just close this quickly. I'll, I'll give the page a refresh because I've tinkered with it quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, we can sort of, again, that's calling the init function, which is triggering the modal to pop up. Pair with this, that will pair over here. Um, and what we can now do is we can actually disconnect it within this here as well. And that's going to be a similar thing to what we just saw. Hit X causes that to trigger. Uh, so there we go. This will obviously be on, on GitHub. Uh, I'll share this link. I'll share this repo. You can check it out.
but uh, I also plan to do some more uh, useful videos besides just the pairing, looking at things like executing transactions, signing generic metadata and validating that metadata as well, val uh, validating that the signature has come from the supposed wallet. So that's it for today, guys. So it's going to just be a short, quick video to the point um, how I've sort of built this high level React application demo. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, this is not necessarily how you build it for a production app. You probably want to be using things like context and there's also other nuances, which you have to think about when doing server side rendering. So I will sort of get content on, on basically anything which people want to see. Um, but yeah, next up will definitely be things like signing transactions, executing smart contracts, all that meaty and juicy stuff. But besides that, take care everyone really good, uh, to have you on and I wish everyone a good day.